you have to do violence. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I'm feeling violent. Oh, oh, I can feel it reaching the top of my skull. Urge to kill rising. Actually, urge to crap. Oh, jeez, I might need to be right back. Uh, but while we're thinking about that urge rising, let me go ahead and give us all a little <laughs> relief. This is a terrible introduction. Please welcome on in Xandra to be our GM. <laughs> Garfield, thank you for that host, by the way. Much appreciated. Just banging the bongos until Xander shows up. Xandra, Xandra, Xander, Xandra, Xandra. Xandra. Xandra, Xandra, Xandra. Hey, hey. Xandra. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just continue with my crap reduction. <laughs> oh, Cousin Gordon, good to see you. Good to see that you were browsing. Yeah, well, well, I don't know. We usually have shows Saturday and Sunday. Always good to have you here. Okay, I see Xandra typing. Oh no, maybe Xandra has lost her voice. Oh, I think so. That's okay. Uh, Xandra will be showing up in just a little bit. So, uh, let me go ahead. Let's reach into the ether ethereal plane okay and i'm going to travel over to xandra's mind i see i see a lot of mice i see a lot of whoa okay that's new that's also new whoa oh oh there 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 i see something beautiful it looks like a jungle sort of like the music we're listening to okay except they're pirates they're pirates in the jungle and a lot of Bubblegum. Oh, I know this game. I absolutely know it, everybody. Our first game for today is going to be Skulljagger for the Super NES. Yes, we get some pirate bubblegum action. <laughs> if you have never played or seen Skulljagger, this is an amazing game that everybody should try at one point or another. Amazing because like objectively this game is bad i feel but i also really enjoyed playing it uh simply put smite had this game in the speed bump last year which means that at least smite thought it was worth trying to get more people to play it and i i think that smite was correct in that it's fantastic in my opinion in my opinion do 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 jag in the skull uh, yeah, this was in Big Bad game a uh, Jangle Storm runs this game. Which isn't necessarily the ringing endorsement that it should be, because Jangle Storm likes a lot of bad games. <laughs> nah, it's a ringing endorsement to me, you know? Yeah. Anyways, these players are going to have to play for four... Hours. JK, we have four matches. Each match is going to go for an hour. We're seeing how much progress each player can make during the course of that time. Whoever makes the most progress takes first, gets the glory of the match, and also gets 10 points. At the end of this match, the players must have at least nine points. If not, they are eliminated from Cuso Grande. It's exciting to see people, you know, who are... Uh, making progress. It's exciting to see uh, people struggle, and it's exciting to see uh, people who had difficulties before suddenly make comebacks in their second match. It's all around. It's a good time. I love the tournament. So I'm working on getting everything captured. Xandra is working on uh, uh, getting out of the ethereal realm back into Cuso Grande. We're like the 
ethereal realm, actually. It's, you know, undoing all uh, ethereal beauty and all that stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, everybody, if you didn't know, uh, if you didn't see last night, I uh, played with Corndan, Kowal, Trisden, Juna. Uh, oh, who was with Juna? Oh my gosh, Mooware. Mooware, yeah, Mooware's in chat right now. Uh, played with all of them over at Jinx Science, Science Theater. Uh, we got to play for their anniversary show and experience various games that they gave out to us. And I, it was an absolute blast. I'm so glad that we got to be a part of that. And let me just say that somehow the thing that made me the angriest was a stupid CDI like remote control game. Like it's like a DVD menu game. So stupid. I was so angry about it. Hello! Oh my gosh, I hear you. Let me check and make sure that they can hear you though, because I think I might have forgotten to change that okay yeah 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 everybody don't worry xander is just speaking to me through the ether but now i have plugged the ether into my computer hi I hello yes we can hear you yay oh i'm so glad i was i was having i was having the worst day but it's all about no to, it's like, all good it's all around. good i covered we're good <laughs> thank you yeah. i'm uh, now, now I will get to transfer all of my bad day energy to whoever is about to play this. Well, that's reassuring. Versace, this is the game I hate the most in the world. This is my worst game. You hate this history. game? I despise this game. Oh my I gosh. rented it as a kid, and it made me so angry. I just oh told God. everybody how much I love this game, so... Uh, that's fair. We like we're different people. Like we like and just dis and dislike different things. That's totally fine. <laughs> well, <sighs> well, everybody, never listen to Xandra <laughs> about opinions, okay? Because I'm the correct one here. This is a or, bad or maybe game. Never listen to you. Who can say? Wow. Wow. You no. Know? <laughs> no. No. I'm. We I've need, got we opinions need more... here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm yeah. so glad. And this oh, is a game second. that I feel, you know, there are going to be some mixed opinions about it, but I think that at least two or three of them are going to come out and say, while this game is bad, it was a fun game to play. Because, like, I, I love playing this game. Skulljagger is so janky and weird and beautiful. Uh, and it's... it has the best password yeah. system that exists. Oh, which, it uh, does. I won't spoil I it for anybody that. who hasn't seen no. it. <laughs> it's it's i appreciate it has like the best you know the best password system for a game that has like what five levels five levels yeah something it's like not that a, yeah it's 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 a thing okay it's it's a lot it certainly is uh, give me a I'm, second I'm everybody because yeah. we will be going live in just a little bit yeah our Oh, I'm I'm glad you're here though, and uh, yeah. if for some reason bad day returns and you have to run away, that's okay. I can talk a lot about this game. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm I'm, yeah. This this game has a special place in my heart. So and I've you know I I'm not it's it's not all bad. I did I did uh, prepare a little care package for the players. I, I yeah. Also, I saw Jungle Storm saying like, yeah. I tried to give this last time, but like it got vetoed i i've been i've been keeping this game in my back pocket for a while for Guso grande just in case and and here it is we finally made it to the day where four people have not played oh i'm so like, glad this too. Entire game. yeah I, I love i now exuno oh, did say that game. uh he played a little bit of it testing it for uh for mystery tournament however that was only about four minutes before he rejected it so yes. payback, <laughs> payback, huh? Yep, and and everyone else uh, in the match was fine with that. <laughs> I like, love Zuno it. Zuno got to share a hot tip, so everyone was like, we're on a uh, an even 
an even ground. Oh, right. Also, I should I should probably figure out how to get folks' streams going. It's all good. I'm doing a little light <sighs> cropping as we get ready for the match right now. Got to make sure everything looks tippy top. Uh, yeah, right now I'm trying to figure out uh, the audio here since it's really quiet for one of the streamers oh. for some reason i hope it's weird i hope it's not my fault always could be my fault yeah you know that's that's like that's the big mood we always hope it's not our fault but when it is we just gotta like own up to it and then do better next time and grow as people <laughs> okay it sounds like we've got the hot tunes here and are nice. just about ready to roll. Don't worry, I'll crank a little bit so that everybody can jam. Yeah. I'm, oh, which, let's see. I'm, apologies for like. Oh, you are stuff. fine. Let me see. I can go ahead and get you a Cadgar link if you would like that over in Game Masters. That'll show all of the various uh, usernames. It's. Uh, it's like multi-twitch except for a little while it wasn't running ads and now I think it does run ads okay Exuno oh gosh, Lady great. and Ellipsis are currently ready let me go ahead and see if uh, our ghosty Un Phantasmamas <laughs> Ghosty Mom yeah, I'm, yeah I think Ghosty Mom yeah. is yeah. about right let me see if they are ready. Oh, it looks like we have uh, a question in Discord. Is the manual just a comic? This, this is all they're getting. Uh, did they just get the comic? Or... Yeah, so the manual has 80 pages, uh, 75 of which are a, a sort of light novel, and five of which are the actual instructions, so I gave them the first 75 pages. Oh, Let's you... see! <laughs> there are instructions all the way on... Oh my gosh. Could you pin yep. that so that... <laughs> of course, be... of course, I'm sorry. Okay. You are so kind. <laughs> I, I I had to give them the light novel, but the thing is, though, that's actually an important. Like, there are, like, there's a bunch of secrets in the game, and you can only, like, power-ups and stuff like that. And you can only activate them if you follow what Storm Jackson does in the light novel. You are so evil. Sometimes, sometimes I, sometimes I, I have my moments. All right, everybody, get all of your favorite pirate skull emotes ready, uh, bubblegum emotes or spheres of any kind, I suppose, uh, because we are doing the countdown in Discord. As soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. Yes, I love this part. My favorite part. So do I. I love the drums. Extreme close up onto what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Unfun is like, oh, is Unfun? Okay, here we go. Yeah, for some reason, their stream is either a little bit more delayed than everybody else's, or I don't know. Oh, it, it's working now. They're not, they're not on my screen. Weird. Uh, yeah, Unfun is finding out the hard way that no, you you do not hurt enemies by jumping on them. You have a sword. That's what it does. You, you use the sword. I mean, you gotta oh. use everything that you have. So Skull Jagger. What's the story here? I assume we're a pirate of sorts going up against other pirates. 
the, mm, okay, so actually, you know what? Let me let me just uh, let me make this simple. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna link you to the manual I sent them. Here you go. So, um, you are you are storm. Let's let's see. There should be a. <laughs> okay, Storm Jackson even... hated Captain Skulljagger. Hated him, pure and simple. The reason was easy. For ten years, Skulljagger had ruled the island of Westica with all the cruelty in his kiltish heart. For ten long years, Skulljagger had forced proud Westicans to work like slaves in their own gemerald mines. <laughs> gemerald? Wow. For gemerald? Yeah, that's what yeah. it says. For ten yep, long yep. and deadly years, he had silenced anyone who opposed him. With one swing of a kiltish battle axe, ten years was enough of Skulljagger. As far as Storm was concerned, the time had come for things to change. The time had come for Westica to be free again. So there we go. Uh, yeah, you play Storm Jackson. Yes, Storm Jackson, the hero of, of this game. Yeah, good it's, job. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's like there's okay. So also, the whole thing about this game is that you have a sword, like you have skull skull dagger sword, like yep. that you kind of like stole, and and now you're using it against him, and the sword is like a mystical. I think it's a mystical sword that may talk to you, and that gives you special powers and. There's, it's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. Bram, bram, also, bram, bram. Uh, there's bubblegum. Yeah, bubblegum. Uh, so bubblegum is a dumb idea for a game with pirates and skulls and stuff. But whatever. We can roll with it. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you know, it's 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 a sort it's a sort of liberation. You're not technically a pirate. Skulljagger is a pirate, and and you are trying to liberate the the. The island of Westica. So what are Skull you? Dagger. Presumably, presumably you're from here. Uh, yeah. Apparently, when he found the sword, he was chewing homemade bubble gum. Uh, mm -hmm. he blew a snap cherry bubble, popped it, and gazed at the captain's sword. It's just baking for a new owner. <laughs> and then yep. he grabbed it and ran away. Yeah. This is amazing. This comic is absolutely amazing, but there is so much and there's no way we're reading all of it. Oh no, no, there's there's way too much, but it has some hints as to like, like there's a spot, there's a bridge coming up where if you pick up a keg and throw it at the enemy uh, on the bridge, it like gives you like an instant power up because oh Ooh. hey you did the thing that Storm Jackson did in the light novel that's in the manual. That's actually kind of cool. I'm a fan of right? that. Like it doesn't punish you for not knowing it. Instead, it rewards mm. you for uh, for having read and doing what the manual has. Yeah, mm. I love it. Honestly, I, if more games had little secrets like that. Uh, with graphic I... novels and stuff, I I feel like it would be a joy. Not exactly good for race setting, is what I'd say, but no. <laughs> yeah, Exuno is currently in the lead. Nice. Yeah, Bubble Gum is a little special in this game because there are multiple types and each one does something different. For example, Unfantasmas has the orange Bubble Gum, which isn't that like a bomb or grenade or something? Uh, okay, so I think the orange one turns you into giant orange, unless you bounce, or am I thinking of grape? Uh, that one one's of great. Them... Orange. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, I saw uh, Unfantasma spoint, uh, spointing, oh. spitting. Spoint? <laughs> you point while you're spitting, you spoint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, oh! grape, grape is bouncy. Bullet to the face. It looks like Ellipsis is catching up quite a bit as well. We're only five minutes in, though, so we've got plenty of time for places to change. Uh, now, how does the health system in this game work? I think that's one thing that can be confusing for a lot of people. Oh, 
Yeah, the health system, okay, so if I remember correctly, the health system in this game is weird. Uh, you're getting like green gems and red gems. Uh, I think it is Sonic rules for green gems. You get hit, you lose them all, but as long as you have at least one, that's a free hit. Uh, and I believe the red gem gives you one extra hit, with the difference being that you get them separately, and the red gem, as long as you have one, you can shoot, like, little, little oh, gems yeah, yeah, out yeah. of your sword. And you can shoot multiple the more that you have. Oh, I never caught, I never caught, like, that little difference. I was just too angry at the game. Well, yeah, that that's understandable. <laughs> I was a kid. Excuse me. No, never excuse the children. I, th I think that's also part of the story. Like, if you look at page four, the sword very clearly has an extended part of the guard with a hole in it where it you does. could fit a jewel. Or bubble So gum. I believe that's like, yeah, no, oh. no, the, no, the bubble, no. The Storm oh, Jackson yeah. <laughs> has a mouth-shaped hole in his face. Oh, the, like, the hole in his head is for the gum. gum. The hole in the sword <laughs> yes. is for the gem. Okay, got it. Exactly. That's how it works. Jingle Storm is saying 25 green gems will give you an extra life, so they, oh, yeah. I guess they do have a purpose. <laughs> yeah, good good, good luck getting those, getting yeah. that many without getting hit, though. Yeah. It's... They're not all that uh, common. That's the biggest problem, no. uh, is that for something that rewards you, you have to be playing almost perfect. Mm, and the, gosh, it's... This, this game is like janky enough as it is. It's a little, controls are a little bit slippery. Uh, Storm Jackson is very, very floaty. And the, there's, so it's, it's one of these things where like, I, um, hit detection with the sword is a little bit weird from yeah. remembering it. It's really a situation where like, nope, that's the sword animation. You need to make sure it touches. Ah, and, yeah. You basically have so, to think of spanking them rather than slashing them. If you can yeah. think of spanking the enemies, then you're doing it right. You spank them so hard that they explode yeah. in a puff of hot air. Yeah, exactly. Damn. Like also, uh, oh yeah, go ahead. Well, it, it's just the hitbox is strange enough that, uh, it, you know, you just can't think of it as a typical sword. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I meant to like. Um, I forget which uh, which player had experienced that, but the um, this game has was probably my uh, like. I, I stared at the screen for like about a minute when I was a kid when this happened. When you die, so normally, like, say in a game like this, like, yeah. what would you think would be reasonable for a death animation? Uh, you fall down on the ground and cry. Yep. In this one, though, you fall through the ground and cry. And sometimes you fall for, like, a very long time because you are falling all the way down I past love it where so the level much. ends. Exuno, it's... by the way, did get a game over and is back to the beginning of the game, if I'm not mm. mistaken. Passwords, I believe, yeah. come once every... Th no, no, Exuno was able to continue. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a... Yeah, there's... I forget how many... There's not that many passwords in the game. I know that the first one is Rude Man, Rude Bird. I think or it's Cruel, cruel Man, man. Cruel bird. Whatever. Yeah. Cruel, yeah. Rude, basically the same thing, right? Mm. Okay, so I guess you get continues and you get the passwords after killing a boss. Mm. Also, there's ninjas for some reason. I mean, the so the, the, the lifelong debate about ninjas or pirates, you know? Oh, right. Here we go. Yeah, yeah we're, we're back to like decade old memes now. I, I'd say what is I, I appreciate the chaotic uh, aspect of pirates more than the stupid aspect of ninjas. Yeah, I, I appreciate <laughs> like, you know, the well, it's a weird word. I I find interesting like the historical. Okay, so I, you know what? Both pirates and ninjas ha are like just really interesting from a historical standpoint once you like learn more about them. Yeah, I feel like ninjas like, had more training and pirates had more alcohol. 
Yeah, and like, <laughs> in like, usually, like, you know, the ninjas and pirates we see in like in media are like, you know, a cartoon version, cartoon type versions. Ninjas and... had more ninja stars, and pirates had more scurvy. Like, yeah, the these comparisons the, are no cool. ninjas didn't have scurvy, but like the uh, well, I said, but, yeah, the fact I that like, it, yeah, it's it's like, uh, like ninjas were not exactly like, you know. Uh, skulking around and like throwing ninja stars on the time. Like, there, there, there were like a big social engineering aspect to it. But the, uh, my, my favorite little thing about ninjas is like, the, you know, the typical, uh, um, like ninja dress, like the, the, the outfit of being like all clad in black and stuff like yeah. that? Like, my, my, uh, I forget if this is actually true or if I just like just heard it, but Thanks, you know, feel free to correct me. Forever! Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> Bye! And hey, Ellipsis Break is actually fighting Skulljacker eventually. Or, well, I think Ellipsis okay? died. Okay, yeah. No, not okay. Dead. No, no, okay. Not. But yeah, my, my favorite thing about Ninja is that, like, uh, so if you've seen, like, some, uh, some Japanese plays have, like, people clad head to toe in black cloth, because they're either like doing like uh, they're they're animating the background or changing stuff. Oh in, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. They're in just back of the play. theater. And exactly, their and their whole the whole thing is that they're meant to be like the audience learns to not see them because they're they're literally parts of the background. So the whole like ninja like uh, classic like outfit is literally wearing. The outfit that people have been trained not to pay attention to because they're part of the background. I love the it. That's that's pretty smart. Very smart. Whereas pirates just wear whatever they can find. If it's there, yeah, they'll like, put it on. It's there's a whole lot of like pirates did do a bunch of murder. Just to be clear, there was a lot of pirate murder, but well, also there I, was I, I believe there was some striking out at like imperialism in, in some yeah. form of like from some I mean, pirates there that's, was a that's decent a, amount of ninja murder too like yeah to be clear yes to be you, yeah no we cannot we should not gloss over the fact that there was murder i mean they were probably all. more likely to be hired i don't imagine too many people hired pirates all the time you know ninjas i don't, I don't yeah. think you did yeah no oh, well, oh yeah hired pirates are buccaneers like that is when you had a a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from a government saying like okay you can be a pirate only if you be a pirate over there against those ships. That's right. Pirates from are independent. Buccaneers are pirates for hire, and marauders are land pirates. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh. I thought marauders was like marauder was that one that one car you never pick in Rocket and Roll Racing. Exactly. Well, why do you want a land pirate? It's the dumbest kind of pirate you can have. <laughs> tears, sorry. I say that. Legal like, pirates are privateers. It, uh, I got I got it mixed up. It's funny, Justin's high school team, they were the marauders, and it's just like, wow, <laughs> stupid land pirates. Yeah. I thought you were good. You were gonna say like Justin's high school teacher was a pirate. Like, oh wow, interesting. No, I don't think so. Also, uh, I want to see if Lady, uh, how, do, how do you pronounce her uh, name? Uh, I always, I say Lady Rex. Lady Rex, yeah. Um, yeah. Is trying to make the red, the cherry bubble gum work. It is very tricky because you kind of have to inflate it and then use it as a balloon and hang on to it with your jaw. But the, the slightest touch, the slightest breeze will pop it and you lose it. Yeah, it, it's usable, but it takes a little figuring out. Uh, it's very counterintuitive, is what I would say, yeah. Uh, by the mm. way, Un Fantasmamas has made it to the second stage. Uh, I, I believe that's a game over. over that is fine. Uh, because you can still continue. I really like the music in the second stage. I think it's fantastic. So shout out to Storm Jackson's face. Whenever you reach that big blue gem at the end of a stage, just like looks at the, looks at the screen and goes, ah! ah! So the people who developed this, by the way, it was developed by Real Time Associates. They also made other games like Normie's Beach Babel Rama, Captain oh, America no! and the Avengers. Uh, they're the they're the 
They're the Beach Babel Rama they are. devs. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, that makes so much sense now. Toxic Crusaders. Oh, oh re wait, they made... Is that... Is that why Skull Jagger kind of... Kind of looks a little bit... Like... Like Tuck? I, I never, never made the link between these two characters, but they are big, burly... Big, burly gentlemen. Like who? Uh, to toxic Crusader, the Toxic oh. Ravager, the the maybe that was that was a titular character that was before uh, Skull Jagger, but that was also the Game Boy version that they made. I don't know. Oh, okay. So maybe they were just like, let's go ahead and take this sprite that we have for, you know, and modify it a little bit to make him look like a pirate. I should shout out to the green the the green uh bubblegum that makes you like invincible and very dangerous and as soon as it ends you get hit if yeah. you just happen to like pop in the in the wrong spot <laughs> yeah i love the purple one the most though it deals so much damage while you're using it yes you move slow but if you are in a place with a lot of enemies you just plow through them yeah you bounce you can also hold up and down to bounce higher and higher i think there's like a trick to how you make the controls work for that one Oh, yeah. The music, by the way, on this game was done by Dave Hayes. He also did the music for The Rocketeer, Dick Tracy, and how about arranged music for Loom? As well as did mm. some of the Amiga sounds and music for uh, Indiana Jones on Amiga, California Games, Maniac Mansion, Zach McCracken, uh, yeah, this guy is kind of a legend. I love the music on Maniac Mansion. It's good stuff. Shout out to the hearts in the mountains in the rock face right behind in Fantasmas. Those big old hearts. <laughs> Although maybe he worked on specific ports of Maniac mm. Mansion. Let me see. I'm, I'm trying to find out exactly because... Uh, like, the music for the NES version was very different from the DOS version. <laughs> okay, Exuno just picked Bubblegum Practice. It's an option. You can, you can just practice your bubblegum. I mean, that's a... That's a valid strat. Yeah. <laughs> Ellipsis! Ending the <laughs> green bubblegum and dying immediately. Yep. I love it. You get for trying to engage with the mechanics in this game. I this one of the reasons why I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan and not a fan of this game. Okay, yes, he did some of the music for Maniac Mansion on the NES, which is extremely different. If you've never played Maniac Mansion for the NES, some of the music is just mind blowing. How it kind of inappropriate it feels, but it's also really good music. How as uh, on the NES is supposed to wear? Uh, PC. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. Ah, people in chat are pointing out that this is one of the speed bump games. It was, and you can tell that none of these players participated in speed bump. Uh oh. Oh. That's okay. Oh. Neither did I. Lady Rex made it to a special fantasy zone. What do you do here? Uh, you collect gems. Oh. You get a bunch, you can get like extra life, stuff like that. It's, I believe, so I, I think this was probably one of those, either a, a secondary exit or it was one of those, um, uh, read the book kind of situations. Because when you, when you see a character like, uh, get teleported like in Star Trek, like they're going to a fantasy zone. Yeah. That completely makes sense. Uh, Lady T-Rex is currently in the cave of green skulls. Very scary. But, you yeah, know, if she can collect... Right <sighs> I feel ah. like collecting uh, various bubblegum would be a good idea. I can't remember if you can have multiple, uh, multiple types of bubblegum and switch between them. Do you happen to know? I think it's only one at a time. Also, uh, Unfatasmos just found a secret area. Oh, so did Ellipsis break. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is, this is why it pays to read the manual. Or maybe reading the manual is bad in this case? 
because uh, it, it does oh. eat up some time. Yes, you can get some bonuses, but the time that it takes, is it going to be worth it? Oh, Lady D-Rex has figured out the cherry bubblegum a little bit. Don't let it pop. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's difficult to get it working just right, though. Mm. Not gonna lie. There we go. Lady T-Rex floating. Yeah. <laughs> Out of that specific bonus zone. I, I mean, I guess it's a zone that punishes you until you learn how to use the cherry. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. Lady T-Rex really uh, getting a lot of use out of the bubble gum there, the, the orange specifically mm -hmm. for a little while, and using purple here. Hey, Brasentia. Yes? What's your favorite type of bubble gum? You know, the gum that I have right now, it's downstairs. I don't really chew a whole lot of bubble gum, but it's a pineapple flavored, sugar free. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but... Oh, that sounds incredible. Yeah, pineapple's good. I love pineapple. It's my favorite fruit. It's a fruit that fights back. Yeah, I know. I don't agree, though. It doesn't digest you. No, no, but it's got spikes. You try to bite into it, it takes a bite out of it. No, it doesn't actually well, take I mean, a bite out I of mean, you, but it, it would. I mean, okay, the enzymes... Here, here's the deal. The enzymes do sort of digest your mouth. Yes, that makes sense. But the pineapple doesn't eat it because the pineapple's dead and probably already in your stomach. So, uh, yeah, I yeah, it's 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 fighting before you like while while you're attempting to pick it. Once it's in your plate, then you've won. Yeah, congratulations. I've got a, I've got a sensitive tongue. Uh, ah. This is this is dumb, uh, but yeah, my my tongue like it's really easy to feel when uh, like there's any little bit of harm to it, and you know I love pineapple, but eventually my tongue's gonna start hurting after eating pineapple. But I don't care, I love it. Yeah. Oh, do you have the proverbial cat's tongue, like spoken about a lot in Japanese culture when they say like you're too sensitive to like hot or I think to, to, to hot food or just hot temperature, they say you have a cat's tongue. I don't think so. Cat's tongues are very sensitive. It's, it's more actually, there's a, there's have, a pause. Uh, geography oh. of the tongue. <laughs> no, that that's what it's called, okay? Uh, because oh. the patterns on the tongue end up looking sort of like a map. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, Whoa, it's actually, neat. I really dislike the way it looks, but it's kind of fascinating. And uh, there's like no known cause. It can just come and go away uh, in your life. I've had it for huh. like a decade or so. So I don't know. Huh. Whatever. Yeah. It's just that occasionally, you know, there, there are going to be spots that are a little bit sore. Uh, yeah. Mm. You can, if you look up pictures, you're probably going to see the grossest versions. Uh, no, no, let's, yeah, let's, I understand. It's, but, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, it looks like I have sores on my tongue, but eh, whatever. Mm. Nothing I can do. Not really harmful. They're just, it's just different. It's a different tongue. Yeah. Shout out to senses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I learned the hard way. Do not Google athlete's foot because. Oh, oh God. No, no, like it, it's dubbed because most athlete's foot is like super mediocre, you know, just minor mm. stuff. And then you do Google image search and it's like, oh, my gosh, I would rather yeah, no, die no. than get athlete's foot. Yeah, it's like I, I had a major surgery a few years back and like. Leading up to it, like the, the doctor saying, you like, all right, here's a bunch of scary stuff that can happen. The very low chance, but it can happen, just so you know. And like, you know, I, I in my folly, I, I looked it up and like, oh wow, the okay, yeah, no, I will, I will never sleep again, knowing that these nightmares are possible. Yeah. I was fine in the end, but like, you know, it's 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 yeah, it's sometimes your anxiety doesn't shouldn't be fed. It's already doing a good job. Just leave it be. Yep. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I'm looking up pictures of geographic no. tongue, and some of them are like... You just said not to. Uh, well, I, I have one, so too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I can. Uh, I'm already dead into it. <laughs> like, some of these look a lot 
better than others and honestly mine uh is more on the not as scary looking side but it's completely harmless uh overall you know you're not gonna like it's not contagious it maybe is a little bit sore in places every once in a while it's fine though if you have a weird looking tongue you're probably gonna be fine you're not dying see that, sometimes that... you have a weird tongue and that's okay yeah xandra there well there's so many things that it's like wow uh my tongue is different from everybody else maybe i'm dying of cancer no it's just oh, sometimes yeah. bodies are weird you know it's good to good to talk about them because there are sometimes yeah. things that are just going to be mostly harmless mm. and it's just and it's, different it's yeah it's it's important to talk about it also because sometimes like uh what information is there is like very like sparse and doesn't actually represent how it's like so it's good to like hear other folks talk about it and just like oh yeah thanks i feel i feel better about it yeah. knowing i'm not alone and like it's not like well if you have this then it's this worst case scenario if you chew bubble gum you will turn into a giant purple balloon and bounce around the level yeah there's no other way it can go down Oh, yeah. Folks are pointing out, yes, uh, Exuno and Ellipsis Break both reached the first boss. Um, it is hard to tell. So there's, there is a, uh, there's a health bar. So at the very least, we can tell which one made yes. it furthest first. I feel like we're going to see past the first boss pretty easily, though. Uh, I, I'd sure. be surprised if, like, everybody got stuck on the first boss. And if you get stuck, you can just read the light novel some more. It'll have some good tips in there for you. Heck yeah. So for those who don't know, by the way, this is the second round of Cusa Grande. That means that the players here need to score at least nine points total in order to move on. The players currently have five points, which means that the last place person is eliminated because they will only come out with seven points. Uh, so yeah, th this is a fairly important match for the players here if they want to stay in. Gotta at least come in third. First is preferable. Mm. So that means that I will finally be free from Skulljagger because one person will have been eliminated from the tournament because of this game. Actually, I, I transfer see... my, my rage to them and I will be free. And... Now, technically, Lady Rex actually has seven points. So if Lady Rex came in last, everybody else would be saved. Oh, no. I... Cruel man, cruel bird. Here we go. Exudum did it. And I am quaking at the realization that it is possible that I may be I may have failed in my gambit to get rid of this game and it will haunt me forever uh -huh. if it, things go down the way you said <laughs> yeah you're like i didn't eliminate anybody no now my, my good friends on the other side are coming to ask for my debt to be paid <laughs> the debt collector anyway, we're, on, we're on the ship now <laughs> I love it. Love it so much. And now we're on a um we're on a pastel pirate ship. We're gonna have a good time. Oh yeah. I appreciate how like you mouse! There's a mouse. Uh I appreciate how there's like enemies are like some <clears throat> you know, you have typical cartoon pirates. You have um, uh, enemies from the Road Warrior for some reason. The uh, Road you Warrior? You have ninjas who are here, incomprehensibly, and you have a, extremely angry animals who just want to want, like, have a, some sort of grudge with you for no reason. Oh, yeah. So right now, Exuno and Lady Rex are definitely in the, the lead at this point, both on the same level. Uh, Unfantasmus mm. and Ellipsis Break are just trying to catch hey. up, though Ellipsis Break is on to the boss. Let's see what he is able to do here. Yeah, oh, and folks are asking, yes, they can use passcodes, absolutely. Yes, uh, in <laughs> general, <laughs> passwords are allowed in Cusa Grande. There are a few cases where they're not, like if the password system is broken, uh, mm. 
I'm I'm thinking of you, bootlegs, or Titus the Fox. <laughs> oh no, it's broken? Really? Uh depends on your computer. I hate that I oh, can say you... that, but uh yeah, because of the way the DOS box works, if you play Titus the Fox, then some of the passwords are gonna take you to later stages than they should. Oh, I mean, I must be thinking of a different game than uh, Titus. So is Titus the Fox like one of those like SNES mascot platformers or is that like cool kid with the with the names filed off? I mean, it is a it is a mascot platformer for DOS. Oh. Uh, yeah, DOS mascot platformer. Yeah, the, the scariest oh. three words that can be said together. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Lady Rex has found the solution to d dealing with pirates. It's just projectile vomit a bunch of orange bombs everywhere. <laughs> oh, you know what? Pirates have scurvy. Wait, no, not all oh, pirates yeah. have scurvy. But if you no. vomit oranges, that means that you ate too many, you know? You don't oh, need maybe. to fight off scurvy that much. Lady T-Rex, like Lady Rex, oh. is very healthy now. Okay. Vomited out the excessive oranges. Ellipsis? Yeah, Ellipsis made it past the boss. Cruel man, cruel bird. Yes! Third place. Those birds. Total butts. Total patooties, let me tell ya. Not cutie patooties. Different kind of patooties. <laughs> Booty patooties. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go after the booty, you know, when you're a pirate. You gotta... <laughs> It's kind of good. It's all right. Yeah, I do love the music for this game. It, it's not something that I would just put on in the background, though, at home, yeah. you know? You know, I'm, I'm washing dishes and going, bim, 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 bim. No, that's not what I would no, do. No, this, this would be like, I would absolutely, this, this is great music for, like, a level of a Super Mario World, like, Kaizo Ram hat. Ooh, I'd be surprised if ooh. it's not already in a NSMW Kaiser ROM hack, because it's it feels like like a really good feel for that. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just I'm just looking at the next game and I'm just thinking, how am I gonna do this? Uh Easily. No. I don't even oh. I don't no, I can't say anything. I can't say anything. Oh, okay, sorry. No, I, lo I love how so much of this game is like, oh, is this the way? No, it's just it's a, it's a platform that ends in the wall. You get nothing. Find find the exit somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. People are asking, is there a Kaizo Skulljagger? Skulljagger is a Kaizo Skulljagger. Nigzuno falls to mice. No, not the mice. I hate deadly mice. They don't, even, they don't even bite. They just show off by, like, whipping you with their tails. Oh, my gosh. Do you know that song? Rat, the rat. Where the rat? Rat. No. Rat. Oh, you need to hear the no, rat song. Don't. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I should, I should listen to it. Yeah. It's absolutely essential because you get to learn about the rats. Yeah, I, I want to learn like about the rats. That's totally up Rogue your alley. I'll, I'll have to remember... The rat song. We still we sing it all around our house. See, Mouse in Aww. chat knows about it. Yeah. I'm the, Ellie. The giant rat who makes all the rules. Yep. People here know all about it. Nice. Shout out to mice and rodents. Shout I, out to the giant rat who makes all of the rules. Giant mice. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Yeah, thank you yeah, very much, I, Mouse, I, I, in chat for uh, knowing where the link is. <laughs> listen, listen, like, Garfield in chat, sometimes you have a bad day and you turn into a floating Medusa mask. There's no shame in it. Life is complicated when you're a Medusa. Yeah, Life is very complicated. When you're a freaking Medusa flying around, you know that you've had a bad day. 
My hair sometimes look like. at the speed of sound. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta get snakes for hair gotta follow okay no by worries. the way chad is pointing out that lady rex is actually in the lead at this point you know a very good job for her exuno is doing pretty good as well like still second place exuno was worried about this game uh a little bit saying you know played it for five minutes before didn't like it uh, we got uh, the cool the man, cruel bird for ellipses. Very nice. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. That's a really nifty password system because it is it works as a password system and you remember it. Everyone, like weirdly a weird amount of people, all remember cruel man, cruel bird. Yeah, you're... more than they would remember like you know four three four eight or whatever that maps to well i mean that's it, a good way numbers. to do passwords in general anyway use words yeah. instead of random letters and numbers that you're going to forget yeah it's like you the, the that comic with like correct horse battery stable exactly you can turn it into a scene in your head make it a visual thing that's great i used to have one of those but then i forgot it so nuts to me Wait, there's a better password in the game, Dolores Fred? I don't know what better password that is, but I'm very curious. I'm going to go ahead and refresh all of the streams here to make sure that we have everything caught back idea. up. Uh, because I know that Un Mamas was a little bit behind when we got started. Dolores Fred, you can say the passwords. We're not going to see uh, probably second, third, fourth password here. So go ahead, say it. Big wild angry fly. Oh my gosh, that is a good Big one. Big wild angry fly tonight at the Mitreon. <laughs> hey everybody, come on down, come on down. Center ring, we got the big wild angry fly. Flying around, just buzzing, just buzzing <laughs> all over the place. Oh, are, 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 is this a horse race? We got, we got big wild angry fly and coming right behind, we have cruel and cruel bird. <laughs> Skull Jagger, running up first. Currently in a lawsuit, but that's okay. Still gonna have him on. <laughs> Bring it bad 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 Arm bad Jackson bad. would also be a good name for a horse. Maybe a little bit too badass for a horse, though. Oh my gosh, yeah. Arm Jackson. Storm Jackson. Yeah, that's a little too sensical for... Well, no, you, you could still use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe a dog race. We just fell I so assume far. they have more just normal. <laughs> the rats just jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Wee, they're celebrating. I actually think those mice are really cute, no matter how ridiculous they are. Yeah. So, question: Ellipsis has gum, but what gum is that? Is Oh, that's a lime. Okay, I thought it might be an olive or an avocado. I'm like, those aren't oh, generally lime. flavors of gum. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, yes, you want, okay, we have gum, we have orange, strawberry, grape, avocado, what? Oh, there yeah. goes Exudo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that this town was built amongst all of the never ending pits, you know? Yeah, Very the, brave what, of them. What's that flying in the background? What the heck is that? Uh, you can use the cannon to fight it. And yes, if you do, you get a I bonus. Yep, you sure do. You get a gem. Congratulations, you murdered a giant being. <laughs> he deserved also, it. Also, the trees are attacking you. Oh, I Probably like stage because... three music, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well. Oh, oh, the rats are called snap rats because they're, they snap their tail at you. What? Phew. You know, there need to be more animals that use whips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Justin just whips walked in, in and then he gave me a look <laughs> right after that. Hi, Justin. Xandra says hi. He says hi and now he's going to leave. Yay. Ah! Hey, Exuno is on to the boss here. Is this a lead? Really? Or is this the boss? Chat said it was a boss. I don't know. Bunch of very angry palm trees. Ellipsis is a mask. Oh, my God, it's a oh giant it mask. is a giant oh. mask. Oh, my gosh. Heck I yeah. love it. Pew, pew, pew. 
<laughs> Whipping your butt, Storm Jackson. Yeah. Does the manual have anything? Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, my no, gosh. It's, it's... it's the last straw, Co. Jackson said, slamming his fist on his workbench. Skull Jagger can't just cancel Mask Day. <laughs> okay, I I have to read through this uh, manual at some point because this is kind of amazing. I'm looking for the part about the giant mouse, though. I don't know if there's a part specifically about the mouse. No. This music is a little bit too smooth. Yeah. Okay, looking this at the manual, like you know, really a, lot of, a lot of the stuff makes sense. There are cannons, yeah, guys with swords, there are pirates, there are rats, there's a machine gun with a skull on it. Why uh -huh. the crap does one enemy have a machine gun? That is like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's not quite in the spirit of pirates. Yeah, it's, the game story is weird, but also my understanding, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I read through the light novel part of the manual. Um, it's written in a more realistic setting than the actual video game is. I think the video games is, well, we gotta have enemies more than just like these two, like two, three people. All right, weird animals, like falling coconuts, a bunch of stuff like that. And <laughs> weird like, animals like coconuts. Me? Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. <laughs> like the manual doesn't, the story doesn't even mention the weird balloon powers. That's just literally an offhanded remark that Storm Jackson makes at some point. Like he just gets the story like, all right, uh, please, please grant me the power to defeat Skulljacker and also make my bubblegum magical and just he's just like saying this whatever because he doesn't really believe in it but it's like the nod to the game's weird mechanic but like the actual writing the written story doesn't have these fantastical elements so much yeah okay umphantasmamas is back to the title screen i believe they were able to beat the boss and get the password so everybody has made it past the first boss let's see mm. uh, uh honestly some of the players sometimes step away for a little bit just to have a tiny bit of breather. I wouldn't blame Phantasmus if they are doing that. Yeah, listen, it's Skulljagger. You gotta take a screaming break every now and then. Like, uh, like Storm Jackson wait, at the end of the level. Just like, actually, raise your arms and go like, ah. Chat is pointing out something important. Uh, there are passwords. It's just Exuno did not enter the correct one. Oh. It... I wonder if Yasuna might have like not written down the correct password or not realized there was a password to write down. He might not have. Oh no, oh, is no. this password boss again? I think this is password boss, yeah. No. Yeah, the thing is like uh, people uh, are generally generally allowed to use passwords, but every once in a while, some of the players match through them. We have seen the password boss uh, destroy people before. Maybe Exuno is just trying to get a game over real quick to uh, resetting. Okay, might enter the password in again and see if there is, uh, you know, a different phrase that works. Cruel man, cruel bird is the correct password. <clears throat> Although it looks like Unfantasmamas is back to the first stage as well. I'm not sure they had the right password or maybe they actually died on the boss and, you know, I just didn't notice. Hey, Ellipsis well, is fighting the giant rat. Yes. Yeah. 
Was Ellipsis the one to reach the rat first? Uh, Exuno did, I believe. Aha. Uh -huh. Although Ellipsis is doing a lot of damage here. Almost dead. Yeah, three. Down to three life for the boss. Yeah, I think that's further, further than yeah. the previous player did. So at this point, uh, honestly, Exuno still has a decent chance of catching back up to where yeah. he was before uh, without the password, but that is still a huge setback. I think that takes first yeah. place out of his hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm really... I am bemused. I did, I did, I double checked. I did warn everybody about the password. Good. Good, good. I warned you about the passwords, bro. <laughs> yeah, and uh, passwords come after every boss. It's just, you know, I can understand if you've completed stages before and it just had score information, uh, some people might just mash through it but in general uh if you don't get a password after every stage then you should expect one after a boss and thus be a little bit more careful pro strategy to everybody who's watching who plays in Cusa grande uh because mm -hmm. password boss is real mm -hmm. i love this music though yeah. Oh my gosh, the bass is so smooth. Yeah, it's, it's some good stuff. I've, I've I've been thinking a lot about like how a Kuso, a Kuso jam would be like. Because like we've I, I think we've had this discussion before of like making small games is great, but making a purposefully Kuso Grande style game is almost impossible willingly because a lot of this happens just despite your best efforts. Yeah, I I think I I do think you're right. Uh, either either the game has to sort of accidentally end up being jank and weird, uh, or it has to be a game with specific design intentions. I'm thinking like Egg for PS1. That was a weird puzzle oh, strategy egg rolling game. Uh, yes, I I got I sent a friend of mine uh, the um, the soundtrack because I figured this is probably her jam and she said yes this is my jam. Yeah, and I was like very happy about that. That game is it's just so mind blowing. I've never imagined yep. uh, like I would never dream of a game like that ever. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that definitely works is uh, making a decent game that has lots of wild visuals. Uh, you know, uh, there there are a lot of Japanese games out there that are just very strange. They, they end up more on the side of Baka than Kuso, uh, but I still group them amongst Kusoge when it comes to, uh, when it comes to games that are out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, gosh, one, one day I still want to see if it's possible to make the, um, to make a Kuso gem, either on doing weird stuff where like, you know, like um, someone, like you come up with a concept, you like just make like a one pager about what you're gonna make, and then you start making it, and then halfway through, everyone's games get randomly reassigned between the teams, and they try to finish the game based on the info they were given. Yeah. That, I feel that that might accidentally make some fun Kuso gay stuff, or the alternatively doing a thing where like, okay, you get like, Lady Rex just killed the giant oh. rat. She oh moves gosh. into the lead. Ellipsis break oh. in second. Going to be going up against the boss in just a little bit as well. Exuno third. Unfantasmamas oh. in fourth. Wow. That what was mean, Doc. That was a huge push. Very nice. Wow. Also, uh, I saw that my cousin was saying that essentially he's not sure that he would be able to do Cusa Grande because five minutes of this game is about all that he was able to handle. The strange thing is that when you have a choice uh, to switch to a different game, you're much more luck well i mean yeah you're more likely to do it because you've got a choice but just sitting down with something that you wouldn't normally play uh and figuring out how it works can actually 
give you a lot more of an appreciation of a game. Like, there are some games that yeah. if I played for five minutes, I would hate them, but after playing for an hour, I kind of like them. Hey, the yeah, law yeah, is exactly. mean dog. Yeah. Yep, Ellipsis Break, second place, hot on the heels. Very nice. Um, oh my gosh. Ooh. Yeah, however, there are some games also that do not make you appreciate them over time. I'm looking at you, Kid Cool. Uh, because yeah, it, it just becomes more painful the more that you play it. And it uh, but this game, I feel, is one that you can grow to appreciate pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm. There's like there's some of the bad Mega Man games I've played that I, I kind of want to like learn a speed run at some point because they're just they're really interesting. Like looking at this, uh, you know, Im important things to to realize with this game is that while it may be brutal, time is not really much of an issue. You have a timer at the top right of the screen, slowly going down. Oh, it's yeah. about in oh. Tim's, you know, Ellipsis. three seconds per Zoom. second. Ellipsis has found a warp zone to the fantasy land. We. Anyway, welcome to Purple Cave. <laughs> Lady Rex facing this thing. Ooh, I like the Purple Cave. Very stylistic. And there we go. Exuno, back. Now has the password. Write that down. Cruel man, pr cruel bird. Exuno, you better write it. Yeah, that was about seven or eight minutes in order to get back. Uh, the time or to where Exuno was, so it's a fairly hefty time loss. Still mm, ahead of Unfantasmamas. Yeah, isn't isn't this wild though? Like this game, like it took them like half an hour or more to get to that point, and now they can just do it reliably yep. in very few minutes. Like it's getting better at weird stuff is neat. Yeah, and this is a game that you know is not going to be. Uh, purely random whether or not you can do things. Everything mm. works in its own janky way. Yeah, yeah. Deterministic pirates versus ninjas. Yeah, it's, honestly, like, it's... Out of all the games that are out there, out of all the platforms that are out there, this one has very little randomness. Uh, and because of that, mm. you know, you can start... Uh, figuring things out, figuring out layouts of the levels, figuring out the way that enemies move <laughs> and uh, how to deal with them. Yeah, it's, it's the jankiness in the controls, I think, is uh, the most difficult part of this game. Mm. All right, like so Exuno tried to get on top of the ship there. <laughs> Climbing isn't the best in this game. It's it's an acquired taste. Yeah, I can handle weird controls personally, you know, uh, most of the time. Yeah. Chapter one, the sword boss. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not one of those games where like, oh, Skull Jagger here already. You win. Cool. Game over. You because the end boss just decided to be at the start of the game for some reason. Chad is pointing out, by the way, that Ellipsis is starting to catch up to Lady Rex. Mm-hmm. Yep, in the same stage. It's <gasps> kind of hard to gauge progress in this stage specifically because it's one big room, but yeah. Rune of Phantasmamas is on the first boss. I really hope they are able to get through this boss uh, in just a little bit. Like... I, I want to see everybody beat the first boss. Old Jagger must pay for canceling Mask Day. And also, you know, all the war crimes and stuff. <laughs> all That's the war crimes important. and Mask Day, you know? Absolutely yeah. unforgivable, dude. Why would you cancel Mask Day? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah spank, it's spank his legs. Yeah! That was a good try. Uh, Phantasmamas was almost able to get through the boss. I feel like this is going to be the end of the tournament for them, though, because that is a full game over. Oh, uh, oh no, I guess oh, there's a continue. Continue, continue to ah. the stage right before the boss. Okay, mm. not too bad. 
I still don't foresee them catching up to third place mm. at this point, though. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, that, that's fine. You know, uh, some games work for some people. Some games don't work for other people. Uh, I do know mm. that I've given some people games to play that I thought, oh, this is a softball. I really like this game. And then they hated mm. it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, one one of the rage quits that we got for the tournament was with a game that I thought was kind of fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Smurfs for Super Nintendo. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That one. Yep. Yep. That so, one. Yeah, there's also no shame in hating something that somebody else likes. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. I definitely have the most rage quits out of any of the GMs. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, no, speaking of softballs, like that's a little bit how like how that went around for me last time. I tried to give this game last time, but it didn't work out. So I gave like, that's why I gave out Cosmo Tank, a game that I really like, but gives, I, I feel gives a good Kuso Grande experience to people who haven't played it. But thankfully people seem to be, seem to like find it pretty okay. Yeah, I would say that, you know, if you ever do see a game on Kuso Grande that you know you really do not want to ever get, one, watching the match helps, but two, you can go and play it a little bit and then guess yeah. what? You've automatically <laughs> disqualified yourself. <laughs> yep. Easy as pie. You just you just have to like, you know, like um, introduce a little bit of the game in a controlled environment to your system. So you can like learn enough about it so that next oh time when gosh. you encounter it in the wild, you'll be like prepared and protected because you'll be able to say, no, I know what this is. It's no way. Vaccines. That is not. We're vaccinating right? against bad video games, everybody. <laughs> if you see a game Pardon. that would be fatal to you, you just got to experience it a little bit. Prepare your yeah. body because otherwise you'll be playing Skull Jagger for the Super Nintendo for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> where where are these pirates finding all these skulls to throw? Uh, from people's bodies. That's a lot, though. Each one has to They're be like murderers. carrying like dozens. They're murderers. What do you think? <laughs> right. Okay. Pack, no, pack like, of skulls. Just, they're like like on like Nathan Drake level murderers here. <laughs> oh. Nathan Drake. Yep. Might, might be more like scam who killed hundreds of people in those games. Maybe maybe the new Resident Evil Village people. Oh yeah, that, that's a that's very different that, band. I, I saw that one. Very different very band. Different. Not even a police officer, but there is a wolf. There is. Yeah. There's a wolf. There's a creepy dolls. There's <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Everything you possibly. Wait, Nicholas Cage is in the Village People? It's no, it's it's no no no. I'm not in, in Resident Evil, but it's not. It's close enough, you know. It's a, you know. I'm trying to remember which character is Nicolas Cage, <laughs> or which Nicolas Cage is the character. I don't know anymore. Eternal question. The eternal question. Yeah, folks are pointing out. This is pretty much locked at this point. The so. Lady Rex made it to, like, past the house. Oh, yeah. That Ellipse died in, right? Am I, am, I not, am I remembering correctly? I think so. You know, Ellipsis was asking about the place right now, but since there's really no way to change it, I just said, you'll find out once the next mm. minute passes. But yeah, uh, per chat, Lady Rex is ahead of Ellipsis. Ellipsis in mm. second, Exuno third, and Unfantasmamas in fourth. Exuno might kill the rat, though. Oh, look at the rat just squishing it with the... the, the, the great I believe in you, gun. rat. You got this. Do you believe in the rat? But yeah. Why? I gotta. It's bad. Oh, there yeah, we go. The rat is doing dead. Best. Yeah. Well, but not doing its best it anymore. If its best is decomposing, then it's doing fantastic. Well, it kind of just, like, went poof. <laughs> well, with the poof, this hour has gone by because that is time. That nice. is time, everybody. What a beautiful video game we had today. 
I'm so see like when we first met you and I at AGDQ, like one of the first words we exchanged was about this game. So I'm glad I finally got to give it out here. Wait, really? Why? Yeah. Why did we talk yeah, we about this? Because I, I mentioned the, the manual thing. Oh. We like talked a little bit about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So as it turns out, Lady Rex is the victor today. And it looks like she is already coming to chat. Hello there, congratulations. Oh. And uh, just to confirm for everybody else, Ellipsis break takes second place, Exuno third, and unfortunately Unfantasmamas takes fourth and is eliminated from Cusa Grande, but there's a reward that comes with that, never having to play our games again. <laughs> but who is the real winner in this case? Uh, I would say Skull Jagger himself, because he banned Mask Day, and mm. it is, like, that's how that's how you spread the plague. Come on! But he'll get his. Yeah. He'll get, get his comeuppance. Mm. <laughs> so lady, and I'm finally free of this game. Ah, oh, I'm free. Yeah, but talk about this game. What what do you think about this? Oh, it, it it was a little rough to get used to at first. I I didn't realize how some of these some of the fruits worked and how the. Mm. Uh, but but then once I started to get the hang of of flight with the cherry and of bouncing with the grapes, it was it was actually a lot of fun. Okay. See, I was I was hoping that the players <laughs> would come to this sort of understanding. I don't know if everybody feels that way. I'm hoping at least Exuno is able to like forgive forgive Skull Jagger a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you you say that it grew on you over time. What was the most difficult part to get over, I suppose? Uh hmm. Wow. I'll be honest. I I'd have to say that the toughest part was just some of, was honestly just some of the enemy placements and basically any time I didn't have a red gem. I, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, the only time I was able to make up for that though was whenever I had the orange because I could just spam the button as much as I want to make up for it. Yeah, I but, noticed mm. you vomiting oranges all over the place. Like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It, it's great that it is a time bonus instead of a limited shot bonus that way you can just do the spam and it's it's a joy yeah the moment i realized that i just went to town on it yeah oh well i'm i'm so glad that you're able to do that is there anything that you actually really liked about the game and, no and, oh it's, it's kind of a case where it's like there wasn't anything that was particularly stand out but it was just you know a fun if 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 a little bad platformer. Yeah, I I would agree that uh, it's dorky, it's a little jank, but at the same time, it grew on me as I played it. Jangle Storm is a speedrunner of the game. He is here quite a bit, uh, and it was on Smite's speed boost, which is pretty exciting as well. I I would say that. This game would definitely be up some specific people's alleys, and, you know, even if you didn't think, oh, this is the next crazed Skulljagger, if you had fun, I'm really glad, because I like this game. Yeah, I will yeah. say, it, there was one point when I was standing on some barrels just randomly swinging at a window. Just to explain that, when I was looking through the manual, I noticed at one yes. point it mentioned, like, a secret in, like, a window on top of six barrels. So I was yes. trying to oh. swing at that like crazy, trying to get into it, but I couldn't figure it out for the life of me, so I just said, forget it, and went on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad you listened to the manual. It's speed bump, not speed boost. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, nerd. Speed bump. Yeah, uh, the manual is not very helpful, but it has great story. It does. And yeah, the, the manual absolutely points out. Yeah, there's it controls to get into like the specific spots are weird. And sometimes I think like pressing up or down is sometimes sometimes you have to swing. Sometimes you have to like throw a thing at a specific point. It is it's obtuse, but it does lead you to like fun like places full of power. -ups. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I honestly, honestly it, the manual made me think the first boss was going to be a lot tougher than it actually was, because I thought it was going to be like, I have to stun the boss, then throw barrels at it to deal damage, but nope, it's just, you hit it with the sword, stand back a bit, hit, stand back, repeat until dead. It was a lot mm. easier than I thought. 
Yeah, I liked, uh, we, we did see Boom Phantasmamas get to the boss at the end and just use the grape power up in order to squish the, no, no, no. Was that Ellipsis fighting the rat? Was that Exuno fighting the rat? That was Exuno fighting the rat, just using the purple bubblegum. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Purple bubblegum is really good. Yeah, that, that, that thing, yeah, that, that would have made that fight a lot easier compared <laughs> to my orange spam. Yeah, but oranges are so good. Yeah. Mm. Ah, well, seriously, congratulations, you know, you're taken first during this match is definitely going to be helpful for you. I believe that you have a total of 17 points moving on to the third round. going to be a lot easier to stay on, so congratulations. Anything that you're streaming or involved in these days that people should know about? Any marathons coming up or? Uh, not really. I, 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 mean, I do have a very terrible idea of potentially doing daily streams next year of trying to get every individual route to Shadow the Hedgehog, but we'll see if anything comes oh, of no. that. I don't... Wow. Well, That's a lot. Yeah, yeah good exactly. luck with that. Yeah, with over 300, this is oh. a terrible idea. I, I might try That's and see if I can make it for a good... I might tr see if I can turn it into something that I can do for a good cause, but I'll, I'll have to look into that further. See, uh, you said something about Shadow the Hedgehog that just goes over my mind because I don't know what you're talking about. I know the Hedgehog. Yeah. Long but... story short, that game has over 300 unique routes you can take through the game, but you only need to take 10 of them. Oof. Well, okay, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> though, thank you so much, ladies. Xandra, thank you as well. Both of you, take yeah. care. Have a great rest of your day, all right? You too, mm -hmm. and good luck to the rest of the competitors. Yeah, good yep. luck. Bye. Bye. Later. Well, everybody, this is Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament. I had a lot of fun with Skull Jagger, but before we have fun with the next game, I want to give a shout out to the people who have subscribed some egrets. Hedge Maze, uh, Proxy Glitch Cat had a raid earlier as well. Thank you so much, Ice Man Drake, Mendoxi. You all are helping keep this channel alive. I'm not teaching over the summer, so all of this greatly helps. And thank you, Baruch, for that raid. We're going to go ahead and run a quick little ad and be back with the second game right after that.